All right, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the Chicago theme going. And next uh we got is Joakim Noah a Hall of Fame? Uh, I went back and forth on this one a whole lot. He has he has a real defensive player of the year award. You're talking about a real defensive player. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop throwing straight there, uh, Marcus. All. all right, and yeah. he has a uh, uh, he's a one time All NBA, but that year he finished yeah. fourth place in MVP in 2013, yeah. and he's a three time All Defensive Player of the Year. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, All All Defense Player of the Year. Three time All Defense, yeah. <clears throat> Joe King, Joe King, Joe King. Oh wait, so it all is, of, it's two-time All Star too, I believe. I think I forgot yeah, to write that down, but he's two-time All Star. Yeah, two-time All Star. It was uh, I think it was the years Rose got hurt, so it was yeah, it was it was thirteen, fourteen. It was the two years that D Rose was pretty much hurt. Um, the 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 biased fan in me wants to say fuck it, he's a Hall of Fame. Give it to him, give it to him. But but we didn't have enough success, man. We didn't. No. If we would have had a couple more good seasons <clears throat> of us competing. And, uh, you know, going to the Eastern Conference Finals, you know, battling it out with the Heat. Uh, maybe we got to the finals, even if we ain't win, just an appearance and stuff like that. If we if we would have done a little bit more, uh, I, I, th- I think I would have given it to him if we would have had a little bit more success. But we were just – we were just okay for a little bit too long. We was 41 and 41 for like three years straight, three years which is pissing me off. So I'm like, fam, if we are 500 again, I would be so goddamn mad. Uh, but yeah, we had, of course, we had the one season 62 and 20, best record in the league, I believe. Yeah, we was a little better. Yeah, no, it was. That was. Um, and then, of course, D Rose got. Yeah, I think it was the best record in the league. The year, the, uh, the year after, the year before Rose got hurt. Yeah, when he got his MVP. Yeah, when, so we, we just, uh, the Bulls just didn't win enough. And of course, once he left the Bulls, went to the Knicks, it was a wrap. You know, it, yeah, he was it. still he was still a solid NBA player, but yeah. he's not the same one who he was for those like two or three seasons. If if he had um, the resume he has now with a little more winning, I, I would I would have to give it to him. Had to. I think he would still need more on his resume. I do think Rose getting hurt hurt his resume because mm-hmm. in a in a in a perfect world, D Rose doesn't get hurt. We see like Jakeem Noah turn into this like. Rudy Gobert before Rudy Gobert, like maybe not with all like the I'm sending your shit kind of stuff, but like, mm. but a dog though, like dog, like I got that dog in me type of <laughs> like, you know Um, In a perfect world, like you get D Rose not getting hurt, you still get Jakeem Noah's like defensive ascension, and then you mm. get Jimmy Butler coming up. I think if all like that's like I said, that's in a perfect world. If all that stuff happens, then you get Jakeem Noah probably gets like three or four more defensive teams. Mm-hmm. They probably get like two at, at the very least, like two conference finals appearances. Mm-hmm. Maybe they come out there with at least a chip. But all that stuff happening in the perfect world. Unfortunately, none of that stuff happened at the same time. Like Damn. Rose got hurt. He like he Jakeem Noah did his best though. I will not say I'll say I'll say that. Like man, he I was think, willing I us, think bro. Him and, I think him and Rose, Rose on the Bulls were very similar to how like Obviously not the same success, so people don't get crazy. But, like, the same kind of, like, roles that Steph and Dre have. Like, Steph is, like, the leader by example. I'm the best player on the team. I'm, like, I'm him every single night. And then Dre and Jakeem Noah are both like this. We're the the engine that makes this motherfucker Mm -hmm. go. Like, without us, this shit don't operate the same. Um, we'll still be good. We'll probably be decent, but if without me here, like it's gonna be a big ass gap. Like our defense is gonna fall off, our communication is gonna fall off. And if you bro, like he, I ain't gonna say he was one of the first ones because obviously we've had big men who could pass before, but he was really underrated as a passer too. Especially yeah, off triple like, doubles that one year, bro. But now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna agree with you. I want. I'll say no. Um, I wanted to say yes, and I was like, maybe he got some international success because I know he played for France, and I like. As I was typing it in, I was like, I know France ain't really ever really been like that. Uh, <laughs> and then I like even when I looked at it, he had like only played like one, I think, Euro Cup or uh World Cup FIBA basket, some shit like that. And they even got they only got silver. It was like 2011. So it was it was still when he was really good, but then like, man. Uh, so I went like you said, like Jakeem Noah probably like of the of the decade at his peak is probably like a I I to guess it. Top ten center at his peak. If you look at like the twenty tens decade, if you just take players at their peak, like he's probably would be like a top ten center. I also say top five. Then I remember we still had Dwight. 
Cooper for, oh, yeah. Cooper for a little bit there. You got Jokic, you had B, you got Demarcus Cousins, and a couple other names. Boogie, uh, yeah, man, people yeah. forget about Boogie in his prime, man. People forget about Boogie. <laughs> Boogie's a conversation too, man. Damn. Boogie's probably a conversation too. Um, but yeah, now for for Noah, I'm gonna say no. They definitely had some success. That was before he was even all the way like that, like oh nine, like first D Rose first year in the league. We making the playoffs. And he's going back and forth with like he's hooping. Like he's obviously not who he was later on, but like when he I think it's a play, he's like bring the ball to court and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Get, get the ball <laughs> he did that shit all the time, bro. And then like, but but him doing all that consistently, bro, is Man, I think he I think he's one of them ones that you just like they're not a Hall of Famer, but he's stamped. Like in whatever city they play at, he's stamped. For sure. Because yeah, I feel like he while dead ass, I'm dead ass here. I feel like he could walk down Madison and ain't nobody from the fuck with the kingdom. Partially because he's like, you know, seven feet tall, <laughs> but then also like, hey man, like <laughs> But then also just like, hey man, hey yo, is hey yo, is Jaquino nah? Like, um, I don't know, man. That that's just me. That's what my thought process behind it was. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I really wanted to say yes to this one. Of all the ones I wanted to say yes to, just off who they, I wanted to say yes to him. Not off their resume, just like damn, like you said, like bias in me. I remember you man. like lead the way, oh, the head honcho. Come on, man. This uh, nigga just just off his energy. I just love the way he played, bro. Man, just the most, he just played with so much passion and just so much energy, bro. And you can see like a veins popping out and he yelling, ah, like all that shit. And shit, man. But I can't be biased, man. I gotta come on this, come on this uh podcast and, and, and be real about it. It's a it's a bunch of times I wanted to be biased. Well, I'm gonna keep it, yeah. I'm gonna keep it solid and not be biased. 